Coach Jesse Minch here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to improve your in-game shooting from the coach. Now there's five parts to this. This is a sequence you'll wanna go through, and it's all kind of leading up to the fifth part where you can really start to get more of that game applicable type of improvement. The first thing we're gonna do though is we're simply gonna do regular form shooting. You probably have done this before. The only things I'm gonna give you on this to pay attention to is number one, make sure that you're holding that follow through up high, okay? The other thing is you actually want to try to catch with that guide hand so you can keep that shooting hand up in the air. And then the third thing you'll really wanna pay attention to is that you're getting good backspin. So when you're releasing the basketball, you wanna make sure that that guide hand's dropping off the basketball. I'm gonna give you some other things to work on that in just a second. But you'll wanna pay attention to that and pay attention to your feel and where you're releasing the basketball. If you're getting a lot of side spin, it's probably because you're releasing the basketball off of one of these pinky or your ring finger. You ideally wanna release it off of either your middle finger, your pointer finger, or maybe a split finger release. But pay attention to that if you're feeling like you're not getting that part of things right. So just like that, and I'm trying not to shoot too high because it is a ceiling fan above me. And if you don't got a lot of room to work with, you can simply just barely get it off your hand, right? Just get it barely up there. And then the other thing you could pay attention to is that make sure it's landing straight down, right? If you got perfect backspin, but it goes way over to the side, that's kind of a problem, right? That means in games, your shot's not gonna be in line. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is one hand form shooting while seated. This is gonna tie into the next thing that we're gonna do and everything we're working up to. And we wanna just have our hand under the basketball like this, rotate so the wrist gets nice and behind the basketball. So we got it bent back. We should have a nice 90 degree angle right here and in that wrist. So it almost makes like a C or it looks like almost like a, like a vice grip clamp, right? So just like that and then catch catch. Throughout these drills, we really want to pay attention to that feel at the top. We want to make sure we get a nice consistent positioning right at that top at the release, both with the two hand and this. So the last thing that we're going to do, everything's going to be in place. This will just help with getting that good feel for the basketball with that shooting hand, getting in the habit of controlling it with just that shooting hand. and not getting any guide hand interference, which is what this next drill is gonna really help with. Okay, next drill, we're gonna focus on really making sure we got good control once again with that shooting hand, but also making sure we're getting rid of any of that guide hand interference. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start like the last drill, except from there, when we rotate here, we're gonna keep our arm down here. We're not gonna bring it up here where we can hold the basketball up nice and easy. We're gonna have it down here, where it's gonna be really hard, even if you have your arm bent back, the ball would just roll down. So all we're going to do is, rotate and as soon as we get it right about to there to that point where it's gonna fall off we're gonna take our other hand jam it into that hand to make sure we're doing a good job of getting that guide hand to do what it's supposed to do which is just push the basketball into your shooting hand so you have good control and then from there the second you can get that shooting hand up high enough to where you can control it with just the shooting hand you want to drop that guide hand off so ideally we want to just get it to drop off down here. And we should almost be able to keep our elbow pinned to our hip from that guide hand. So that way we know it's not getting involved and we're getting in the habit of getting the guide hand dropping off, not getting any interference and getting good feel with the shooting hand. Once again with this, we really wanna pay attention that we're getting this part right here exactly the way we want it, exactly consistent, getting our feel from this point up, that's gonna be big. Okay, so everything so far has led up to these last two drills. These are gonna really help with more of that game speed and game specific type of shooting. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the basketball about head height, maybe even a little higher, but we wanna make sure it's kind of far out to the side. So if you start going too high, then it kind of puts it above you. You wanna get it out almost as far as you can to the side, but with a little bit of height. Okay, from there you're gonna drop it and I want you to catch it down here because this is what, something that's gonna happen in games a lot, right? You catch passes over here, you get dribble moves, crossovers, you get it over here, and then we wanna pull it immediately into that shot pocket. From there, we wanna go right into our regular form shooting, again, paying attention that we're dropping that guide hand off, making sure everything is starting exactly the same here and for sure looking exactly the same here.
And then once we get that shot off, we're gonna bring it over here to the other side. Again, extend it out nice and far, nice and high about head height. Catch, bring it in, shoot. Now, you can work on gradually speeding that up. At first, just nice and slow. On this side, good. And as you get better then, you can work on getting some of that Steph Curry speed into the shot. And that takes us to our final drill. And then I'll have one thing to help you make more shots in games. It's a tip that just knowing it when you can maybe get to the gym next time is gonna be perfect to help you instantly start making more shots. So definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the, the shot off just like we always were. But when we release it, when the basketball comes back down, we wanna catch it up high here. And the reason we wanna do that is because in game situations, a lot of times you'll catch the basketball up here, right? And that can really mess you up. You might be shortchanging, bringing it into the pocket so you're getting full power, full range, and just getting that consistent shot, right? The more consistent you can make things from the get-go, the more consistent your shot's gonna be. And a lot of times what messes your shot up in games is you catch it up here and then you kind of bring it over here maybe. Maybe you just shoot from here, right? And that's something a little bit advanced that you could work on at some point. But when you're getting started and you just wanna start making more shots in games, it's really important to get in the habit of getting that ball in that perfect starting position. So it would look like this, bring it in, boom. I would recommend doing about 30 to 50 reps of these with sitting down. It shouldn't be too tough to knock a bunch out and get a lot of reps in. Now this video right here goes over how you can instantly make more shots. It's the one big tip that I've got for you and there's actually some drills to help you master that tip. And if you click the top link in the description, I have a 100% free shooting workout for you. It's already helped thousands of players, sure it'll help you too. Subscribe, turn on all notifications to catch the newest videos and I'll see you in this video or the workout. Pin to the comment next.